coming up in this video. This is probably the first and the only time anything of mine has ended up in a museum. <laughs> edition of Fishtails with Tim. Once again we are in Singapore and today we're about to check out this incredible building that you can see right behind me. It's Singapore's Art Science Museum. It's part of the big Marina Bay Sands uh, development down here, down by the waterfront here in Singapore and inside of it has some incredible exhibitions that are really worth checking out and today you're going to come along with me and we're going to see them for ourselves. Let's go. Future World is put together by Team Lab, a Tokyo-based interactive art collective that includes artists, architects, programmers, animators, and mathematicians. Their artworks are on display at a multitude of locations across the world. Here in Singapore, they have 16 cutting-edge installations. This place is pretty extraordinary. You have all these amazing projections going on. Kaleidoscope of colour. It's amazing. It's like there's always something new happening, something new developing. Just when you think you're getting tired of one scene, it changes. Here we go. Check this out. This installation depicts a seasonal year in the life of flowers. As the seasons change, the flowers bud, grow and bloom before they lose their petals, wither and fade away. This incredible installation takes place in real time and visitors can have a real impact on the art taking place around them. If a person stands on the waterfall or touches it, the flow of water changes and then continues to transform.
option to choose a picture to colour in. So this is my one here. It's a picture of a turtle, right? There's a few other sea creatures you could choose as well, like sharks and sea horses. But um, big fan of turtles, love turtles. So what happens is I'm going to draw the picture, colour in the picture of the turtle, make him look all nice and pretty. And then we're going to get that turtle to join that massive aquarium, that virtual aquarium that you see behind me. This is going to be fun. Okay, well, I work pretty hard here because this is a piece of art that's going up in that virtual aquarium behind me, and I want to talk. Okay, for the people of Singapore. <laughs> Actually, okay for human consumption. That's basically how it works. So, here's my piece of work here. My turtle is now being transformed into something magnificent and fantastical, <laughs> and soon it's going to be up there in that virtual aquarium. So we found this handy aquarium scanner and we're going to take our piece of artwork here and insert it this way. And then like that. Now we press the button. Now the magic happens. Hopefully it's magic. There it is. Whoa, look at that. Let's try it. Like, that's my turtle there with the softball on it. And now he's lying, as, swimming as part of the other fish. All right, it's fair to say right now, I'm a little bit excited. A little bit excited. I feel like a little kindergarten kid is brought home. I picture the mum and dad and they love it. And they put it up on the fridge. But my fridge today is this big virtual aquarium behind me. The little picture that I finished drawing a couple of minutes ago has been scanned. And now my turtle is one of the ones that are swimming up around up there in the background behind me. It's just extraordinary. It's such a, such a cool idea. And uh, yeah, just seeing technology come alive like this, it's a pretty wondrous thing, I've got to say. <laughs> it's so much fun. All right, just to give you even more of an idea of how clever this thing is, you can do, you can even go up here and you can touch the wall and you actually scare the fishies away, All right? Yep, see? Scare them away. The table featuring the little people is good for a big and little people of all ages. The little guys run around the table edge and you can interact with them by placing items or body parts like your fingers on the table. The actions of the little people change depending on the items that have been introduced. Okay, this is one of these many extraordinary exhibits here. So you can actually come in and touch things and you can actually impact on the art. See how it's a... I'm messing things up. They had a beautiful tune going and now I've come on and messed everything up. So cool. Sketch Piston was one of my favorite places in the whole museum. It's really cool too, so you can actually pick up one of these characters, these icon seats down the bottom, and you can actually add it to the art. Birds' trails draw lines in space, and they even sense people and try to avoid colliding into them. Alright, 
So this time we're going to be doing uh, kind of similar to the last one when we had the kind of similar to the last one we had the aquarium. This time we're going to draw a picture of a vehicle that's going to go on the streets of Singapore that you can see behind me. Some of the landmarks they have here include the Merlion, uh, the big Ferris wheel, the big Ferris wheel here in Singapore called the Singapore Flyer, and of course, of course, Marina Bay Sands and the Science Centre right here. It's a uh, science art science centre. It's pretty awesome. So here we go again. Let's test out my drawing abilities one more time today. Uh, hello, piece of artwork done and dusted for the day. Here's my little fire truck. Got as flashy as the turtle from next door, but still not too bad. And in only moments, he'll be up on Singapore's roads, cruising around and past the moon line and the Singapore flyer with the rest of the vehicles behind me. It's been taken by a spaceship oh, and then dumped on the road. Wow, that was cool. This is a strange kind of weird and extraordinary, but it's also rather fabulous at the same time. Got ran behind, wasn't getting a move on. Oh, yeah, another one's trying to uh, mount him. Okay, so what we have here, we have these big, beautiful, magical balls. And what happens is if you push them and you bump them to another one, it changes color. And it doesn't just change color with the ones that you're pushing, it also changes color with the ones which are up above. So check this out, right? I'll push this ball here, these ones here, yeah. Like that. And the colors up above me change as well. Isn't that fantastic? Or you can just get some little random kid to run in and knock balls around and do it for you. Actually, he's done a bloody good job. I tell you what, if they had this in croquet, then maybe I'd play the sport. It'd be a lot more interesting, wouldn't it? There we go. Three, two. For the next part, we're going to take part in a version of the old school game called Hopscotch. And when you jump on the different parts of the, uh, of the board beneath you, it changes colours and sounds. So. Alright, so what we have behind me is this hieroglyphic world. It's actually the story of time. You pick one of the hieroglyphics that's falling down and when you touch it, it actually generates a story, right? And the story could be to do with like wind or rain or land or fire. So I'm here, right? So I'll touch that. And look at that. All of a sudden, a cow appears like that. Like magic, see? That can be magic, kids. There's a horse, okay. So we have other hieroglyphics now. I'm going to have to in there and touch him. He disappears. And we have this other image, this other story that is created. Isn't that pretty marvelous? So let's find a hieroglyphic. This one here looks like fire. Let's touch fire, shall we? Whoa. And what's happened is a story of fire. Takes a hold. Look at that. The Crystal Universe is an interactive piece of art that uses thousands and thousands of light points to create an incredible, unique, and ever changing LED universe. The art changes and evolves due to the movement of the people in the space.
It truly is mesmerizing and unlike anything I have seen anywhere else in the world. Seventy-eight thousand lights there. You gotta be super careful walking down the, uh, the passageway that leads from the other side to this side. So this incredible forest of neon. Just next door inside the shop's shopping mall is the digital light canvas. This installation consists of a 20 meter high shimmering cylinder of light points that is suspended above a 15 meter diameter circular lighted rink. Just like the ones inside the Art Science Museum, this light show is rendered in real time. Planet All Plastic explores the devastating impact plastic has had on our planet since its invention in the mid 1800s. In particular, the effect it has had on the world's oceans and marine life. The 70 pictures from the photographs of National Geographic magazine paint a desperate and sad portrait of how we are treating Mother Earth. It's impossible to walk through the gallery and not be affected. Penalty depicts 633 soccer and sports balls collected from 23 European countries that washed up on 104 beaches in only four months. This powerful portrait featuring the ubiguous image of a soccer ball really drives home the global issue of marine pollution in its simplest form. Hey, thanks for joining me today on our trip to the amazing Art Science Museum here in Singapore. What an extraordinary place. And those exhibitions, man, they blew my mind. They were fantastic. Until next time, we'll see you later. But before you go, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe one too, that'd be really great. All right, bye for now. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. Really hope you enjoyed that last video. Why not stick around and check another one? Like, that's a goodie. Actually, that's a pretty good one too. All right, see you later.